Hello, my posse. Hello, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, coming into my living room today. Uh, today, we are going to do a new wig review. So if you're interested in a new wig that I received from um, the wig company, stay tuned. so glad that you came and I am so excited to do this wig review today. Um, well, I'm excited about all of my wig reviews. You know, I love my wig reviews and I know you do too. So I was trying to do this earlier today, but my husband wanted to cut the grass and putsy outside. And um, so he did that for the first time since he's been COVID free. So I couldn't disappoint him because he was so excited to actually do something and he felt so good about himself. So I'm doing this later than I wanted to. And hopefully the sun will be here so I can still show you uh, the color of my new wig outside. So before we start off, let me tell you that this is Dance in Butter Toast. And um, uh, you know, Dance is a shake and go wig by Paula Young. So um, it's, uh, it's pretty good, but this wig is the same shake and go. I am, I've never, I used to order from the wig company a long time ago when I used to have my hair long and I bought wiglets and clips and all that stuff for um, my hair. And uh, I dealt with their customer service a long time ago and they were so nice. And then I just, I just never wore wigs and you know, things change and so they contacted me and asked me if I would do an honest wig review. And of course, you know, that's me, I'm honest. And uh, they let me pick three wigs and they sent me three wigs. And I am happy, happy to review them. I um, took them out of the box just to try them on to see if, you know, they were good enough to review. So I'm happy to say that I'm pretty pleased with all three wigs. It's very hard on a new company uh, to pick colors. Um, I'm not sure of their color, uh, you know, wheel yet, but uh, I went with these and uh, Julie, very, very super nice, super nice gal. And so thank you for sending me these wigs to review. And um, this is how they came. Of course, it's my favorite color, aqua box. Just really pretty packaging look, just like a present. <laughs> and of the box says, uh, everyday smart values, fashion club designs, now better, uh, all day beautiful. Um, so I was pretty impressed by the packaging. That's, you know, first thing. I really liked it. And um, the wig inside, I didn't, it comes with cute little aqua wrapping paper. They must know it's my favorite color. Uh, and this one here is um, Flawless. And Flawless is uh, number 18, uh, as you see. And it's an average size. And 18 is a light, let me see, it's a light uh, ash brown. And I wasn't really sure, I have the, the uh, measurements and everything here. I wasn't sure about ashy color because my skin sometimes, um, Ash and me just don't get along, uh, but it is a very, very pretty color, and I really like it. And the flippiness of it, look how cute that is. I mean, where do you see it on? There's, I tried it on just for a second to see. Super, super comfortable. Just, I'm just absolutely so thrilled with this. It comes in a variety of colors. I love their, um, their website because it it shows you on the top blonde highlight brunette gray and, and then there's a drop down and you click on the little plus and it drops down all the colors in your uh, color wheel so if you like gray you'll hit the gray and all the gray colors come up if you're a brunette all the brunettes come up they have some that are in there that are highlights so I do like I am impressed with their website. I, I love that uh, idea, even though it's hard to know color. You know how hard it is to pick colors. Um, but I am really pleased with this color. So let me tell you, it's a capless construction. Um, and it is, as you can see, pretty. they're all pretty similar um, to my other wigs. Um, and it's open wefting, as you can see, and it's got about a one, one and a half inch bel velvet band around it, which is 
really soft. Uh, I wore it for like, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes last night. I didn't really have it on, but it was very, very soft on my head. I really, really like that. Um, it's got permatease in it. Uh, it's got great open tabs in the back and, and Velcro, look. Velcro, love the Velcro tabs. That's my that's my favorite. Uh, the ear tabs are really nice for glasses. This is an average, and it weighs two point one ounces. Can you believe it? I mean, seriously, that is like so light. So some of you are that that are hesitant to buy wigs because you think it's summertime and you know they're going to be hot. They're not. Trust me, they're not. It's as like lighter, and I've said this before, than a baseball cap or you know, a big hat that you wear outside. This is like, I don't even know that I have them on. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, and it's, it's just beautiful. So the, the length of it is, uh, after we do the cap, the length of it is four, uh, four inches. And it's four inches, the front, top, and side. So it's a nice, even uh, balance. Uh, the back of the nape is three and a half inches, which is good because you all know how I love my hair hanging out in the back. Now, this is dance, and I know some of you want to know the exact length of dance. Dance is not bad in the back, but this is still uh, some of my own hair out on her because I just like that little bit in the back changes the whole kind of contouring of your face. So for me, uh, I'm, you know, when I first went into short hair, I, I had to have the length in the back. You know, that's why I always like the shag and the mullet because it had the length in the back. It was my style back then. Who knew it would go away? But it's coming back. It is coming back. And like I say, the color on this is um, 18, which is light ash brown. And I'm very, very, very pleased with it. Now, I haven't cut the tags on off yet, so I will do that. Then I will try her on for you. And you'll see, I'll probably cut the bangs while I'm on here. I don't think it's much to trim, uh, but we'll see when I get it on. So hold on. Okay, here she comes. Nice tabs here. Let's see how the glasses fit with the tabs. Yeah. And you can see the color. It's just a really pretty, um, oops, summery kind of color. And it isn't really, you know, as shiny as I thought it would be. The length is per Look at the flips on it. Love the flips. Just love it. And I think the only thing that I need to trim, and I don't need any of my own hair out on this at all. Let me tuck it, see if I can tuck it all in. Just in my eyes. So I think the bangs Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't bring my mirror. I'm going to look in my phone. Oh, I better go get my mirror. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I wanted to go get my mirror uh, and my scissors. So I think I'm just going to take the bang and kind of um, just... Not the side, just twist it a little, like so. Keep twisting. Just keep twisting it. And take just a tad off the end. That might all I need. just to make it, oops, just to make it a little wispy-er. I think that's pretty much all I have to do with her. I just wanna make sure none of this is my own hair here because I want you to get the full effect. Hold on. All right, I want you to get the full effect. I wore my bigger earrings today because I think big earrings with a short wig is just super cute. 
So I think the cut on this is pretty cute. You can, of course, put it behind your ear if you'd like. A little bit, which is cute. I think the back is okay. I gotta bobby pin it. If I bobby pin it, hold on. Let me get my bobby pins. Hold on. Okay, I just wanna pin it down in the back a little bit with a bobby pin, just so it doesn't, I think I have to adjust the um, tabs in the back a little bit. Maybe make them a little tighter, so there. So I wanted you to get the effect, because it was riding up, of how it looks. Um, now let me take her outside, and then I'll putz with her, but before the sun goes down, I wanna show you the color. Hold on, here's the color out in the light. Hopefully you can see this. It's a very, very pretty color. Very nice in the back. If my husband was here, he would show you the back, but it's, you can see the color, how pretty and golden it is. Now back inside. Okay, I went outside and my glasses darkened up a bit because I had those transitions. But you can see the color. It's very, very pretty, very rich color, very natural color. Um, you know, I think with a little hairspray, it'll tone down that little bit of shininess. But you know, I told you, I never worry about the shine because that's a couple of hairsprays and it's, uh, it's gone. I think the top... Um, is really cute. I thought it said four inches, yeah, front and side, but this, I don't know if this looks like four inches. This looks a little shorter to me on top, but it's fine for me because it just makes it, um, you know, higher. And you can always just kind of very lightly back home it. And, and what you can do too with a, with a wig when you wanna style it is what I do. I wet my hands really good and I go through, uh, I go through the wig and I put it, style it the way I want to with water. I get in there, break up all the hairs, um, you know, from the factory that, you know, kinda stick together and break them all up and go in with water and then I start my, um, my styling with my fingers and then once I get it the way I want it I lightly spray it Pantene has a new I don't know if it's new but it's alcohol free um, hairspray and I find it uh, to be pretty good for synthetic wigs so so that said throughout my earring here it's kind of hanging up so I think the overall uh, flippiness for me is super cute and I'll show you you can wear it just with uh, you know me I'm the headband queen wear it just with a cute little headband like so uh, and that that's always cute if you don't want to wear the wire headband but let me show you I guess it would help let me show you how cute it is from the side so the profile the profile is very, very nice. Gives you a lot of fullness back here, which you know I like. I don't like any wigs that don't have enough hair in the back where you can fluff them up because it just has a tendency of making your whole face look flat. So it's, I love the, the puffiness and the length that it gives you in the back. This is my right side. I gotta always think about that. <laughs> this is my left side. <laughs> this is my left side. And then this is the back. Isn't it cute? I mean, thank you, wig company. I would wear this out every day. It's got just enough sass to it, just enough color to brighten me, just enough curl to make me feel youthful 
it's just, um, let me switch this. It's just like a really nice color. I would definitely, definitely uh, buy a number 18 in another stop before. I really like this color. You know, I'm always kind of between, um, like with Polly Young's, I get the Butter Toast and I get the Pecan Delight. And there's nothing really I found great in between that for me, uh, unless you get into the ashiness. And I, the ashy tones um, on Polly Young are not that great for my skin coloring. But this being light ash brown is a beautiful, beautiful color. I am really pleased. So that's it with a headband. And you know, I have various headbands. I have like a dresser full of headbands. Like two of my big drawers are full of headbands. And this is a cute one. It's just, um, you know, when you put headbands in too, you gotta, I mean, a lot of headbands are so wide and they go all the way down here. And if they're too wide in here, they flatten your, your wig out too much. And then you end up with this like square look. So you gotta really watch your headbands. This one looks better in person, I think, than it does on camera. But it's cute, it's just a little shiny one. And then, you know, you always have my favorite one. You know, you know how I love this one. This is my prom one. <laughs> this is my favorite headband. I, it's so old. It's probably older than me. Well, no, nothing's that old. But, <laughs> no, maybe. But this one I love. And then if you wanted to go um, the wire headband look, uh, this is really, let's see how it looks. I haven't really tried it yet, but you could probably put it underneath if you wanted this look. Let me look over here in my mirror. And twist it up. These these headbands are a little um, different. The, you don't get as much. You get more of a bow effect, I think. But um, you can do the, who is it? Goldie the Riveter, is that it? What's her name? God, I drew a blank. What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's like an all-around headband look. Oh. Like so. Covering your ears. And this is a good option, too, that we have to wear masks, these headbands, because, you know, when you put those masks on, your ears go boing, boing. <laughs> so... You know, you can put the headband or the mask on with the behind your ear and then the headbands cover it and you still look good. So this is one headband and um, and then these are the newer ones that I got. Now these don't, these are more flexible and you can put it a little higher if you want and leave the bottom out. See these aren't so heavy at the top so they they kind of lay a little flatter. Um, let's see, oop, got the ear out. Add some hairs down in the front, and then you have the hair from the wig out in the back. So let's see how she looks in the back. Yeah, see, and it's cute with your hair out in the back if you want to put the headband up higher because you still have all this great fullness here that doesn't lay flat. So I think I am with number one. I have three to, uh, to review for you, but I think I'm pretty pleased with Flawless. Um, I'm very happy with it. I think I love the color. Uh, the hair feels really, really soft very natural the headband the velvety headband does not itch my head at all uh, i'm very pleased with this one uh, so for my first one and my first wig review from the wig i know a lot of you order from uh the wig company and and uh, you're very very pleased uh, with them they have great clearances uh, great bargains oh i love these ear tabs are awesome for my glasses um, they have great you know a lot of a lot of cute styles v inexpensive um, also which you know you know I like and we all like um, I 
I know there's lots of them that are really expensive, but I'd rather have like cheaper ones and just buy more. I'm just, I like to just change it up every day. My neighbors probably wonder, hi, oh, she's got long hair, light hair one day, what? <laughs> Some of them have asked me and I go, oh, it's a wig. And they go, oh, I know, I saw you on YouTube. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's good. But yeah, but I mean, I, the majority of my neighbors don't, I mean, not that they don't talk, but everybody kind of sticks to themselves these days. You know, it's hi, how are you? And that's it. Nobody, nobody parties like the old days. <laughs> oh my gosh, when we lived in the old neighborhood, Bunny, if you're watching, we had a neighborhood when my kids were growing up, one of the best neighborhoods that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, we were out constantly together we had block parties we had progressive dinner parties where we would go around to each of the houses the kids would all play together all of our moms were just so close i mean we still get together us girls and uh that's 40 years ago when we moved into that neighborhood it was just you know the best neighborhood ever we all kind of stuck together even from then we always say there's never another you know, street like we had. I mean, we had the police come when we blocked it off for our block parties. I mean, we just all got along so well and took turns taking our kids to school, elementary school. It was the greatest time of our life. Just what a what a good time. Today, everybody's busy and you know, you get a hi, how you doing, you know, and stuff. I mean, I have really good neighbors. They were really good to me when we were sick, so I'm not complaining about that. Um, but nobody gets together like the old days, you know. It is what it is, so replaced by jobs and taking your kids to sports and whatever but anyway so uh, I don't know how I got sidetracked on that because that's just what I do <laughs> so I'm very happy with this wig I'm very very impressed from the wig company it's the first wig that I have bought or got, I didn't buy this they were graciously and sent it to me so I'm very very pleased to do this for them so um, go and take a look at um, the wig company's website uh, they've got many colors, many styles. I, I can't imagine you not finding one that uh, that you don't like in the price range that you're willing to uh, spend. You know, we're all on budget, so, you know. And it's nice to be able to buy something affordable and still look good. So I hope you like this. I am really pleased with her. Uh, I love the color. I love everything about it. So thanks for tuning in to this wig review. And I think I'm going to do... Um, so I'm going to try to do this weekend or the beginning of the week. I know a lot of you ask me uh, how I, where I store my wigs, and my husband my husband made me this wig uh, rack holder, and uh, he just came up with the idea. And so I want to show you that how I store all my wigs and all my wigs on it. And uh, maybe I'll even try on a few of those wigs that I've already done uh, just to do uh, some quick changes uh, to show you some that I have on my wig rack. So I hope you stay tuned. So thank you for watching today. Um, my pleasure to do these wig reviews. I love them. I hope you go to their site and uh, find something that you like. They're very, very affordable, very cute, very comfortable. So until next time, I'll see you guys. Enjoy your weekend. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay positive. Um, don't watch the news. Don't let it get to you. Keep your heart here. Keep your mind clear and um, don't get negative and don't get put down by what's going on in the world because we're in charge of ourselves. So let's be positive and kind. I love you. Bye. See you soon.